Now I'm trying to get back before the cool done run out. I'm giving it my best test and nothing's going to stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's my turn to win some or learn some, but I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Well, open up your mind and see like me. Open up your plans and then you're free. Look into your heart and you'll find love. and sing. We're just one big family and it's a God forsaken right to be loved. Love, love, love. So I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm sure there's no need to complicate our time. Short. This is our fate. I'm yours. I've been spending way too long checking my tongue in the mirror and bending over backwards just to try to see it clearer. But my breath fogged up the glass. So I drew a new face and laughed I guess what I'll be saying is there ain't no other reason To rid yourself of vanity and just go with the seasons It's what we aim to do Our name is our virtue But I won't hesitate No more, no more It cannot wait I'm sure there's no need to complicate Cause our time is short This is our fate I'm yours Okay, now for some detailed explanation of I'm yours. When Jason Mraz does this song, he typically does it in the key of B. And on the uke, that requires some barring. So, the B chord, it's like a B flat, moved up one fret. The index finger bars the first two strings at the second fret. The middle finger is over on the third fret of the third string, and the ring finger is over on the fourth fret of the fourth string. That's your B chord. Now you slide that down to an F sharp. Here's your F, and I'm just barring it up. So you bar across all four strings, middle finger goes on the second fret of the second string, ring, your finger, ring finger is on the third fret of the fourth string. There's your F sharp chord. Now if you've got your B like this with the ring finger on the fourth string, just slide it down. That's a guide finger. Go to your F sharp. Keep your finger barred on the first fret and play a G sharp minor. Middle fingers on the second fret of the first string, ring fingers on the third fret of the third string, and little fingers on the second fret of the, rather, excuse me, on the fourth fret of the second string. G sharp minor. Then the final chord is E. I bar the fourth fret. The little finger goes way up here on the seventh fret of the first string. So there's only four chords in the whole song. B, going to F sharp, going to G sharp minor, and then back up to E. And each of those chords gets played for two measures like this. Then F sharp, G sharp minor, 
E. And I'm using a, a syncopated shuffle down, up, 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 down, up. And I'm accenting the second beat by releasing a little pressure off the string, like this. F sharp, G sharp minor, then E. Now, if you're not that skilled at bar chords and you don't mind playing it in a little higher key than what Jason Raz does it in, you can play it in the key of C. So instead of a B chord, we play a C chord. Instead of the F sharp, we play a G chord. Instead of the G sharp minor, we play an A minor. See how much easier that is? Instead of an E chord, we play an F chord. So it would look and sound like this. C. G, A minor, then go to F, so it goes like this. Well, you done done me, and you bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back, and so forth. So all the way through, just those four chords, two measures each. Okay, now a little detail on a little a lead figure that I use for the intro. Okay, here's a little lead figure that you might want to try on the introduction, and you can also use it during the instrumental breaks. You put your two index finger across the first two strings of the second fret, just play those two strings, and slide up to the fourth fret, like so. And then as soon as you do that, go right back down to your B chord. Do that again. Then do it again, and then go to F sharp chord. So the first one goes to the B, second one goes to F sharp. Now, this next one, play the second string and slide up to the fourth fret. Like so. You got your F sharp, and then go down to G sharp minor. So it goes F sharp, and then go to your E chord. So it sounds like this. Now obviously that little pattern doesn't work if you're in the key of C, but if you want to play it like Jason Mraz does in the key of B with that little figure, you've got to work on your bar chords, your B, F sharp, G sharp minor, and E. Practice them over and over again. Alright, happy strumming.